Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you how to wirelessly transfer files from your computer. So this is using a Windows machine. I'll have separate videos on how to do it with Mac and Linux. You're going to be using an application called Warpinator on your Steam Deck and the, you know, Mac Windows equivalent, Winpinator on Windows. So first of all, you need to switch to desktop mode. So press the Steam button. menu is not popping up let's try it again there we go go to power go to switch to desktop if you don't know how to navigate in desktop don't worry i'm going to cover all of that for you and always, i always wait a few seconds before i try and use the desktop mode because i find the mouse can sometimes take a few seconds for you to properly kick in and now you can navigate one of you know a few different ways you can either use the touch screen and this will put the mouse pointer where you click and also you know, be a left click as well. You can use the right trackpad over here and just just put your thumb or your finger on it. You not click it and just move the finger away around. If you click it, it will be a left click. You can use R2 as a left click and L2 as a right click. So now that you know that, we need to first go ahead and download Warpinator. You can do that from the Discover Store. If it doesn't appear as an icon there, you can just go to application, all applications, and then just find it here. I've already got it, so I'm going to go here. And I always recommend, you know, wait for this to fully load because it can take a few seconds. And just make sure, you know, it's all appears. Otherwise, any searches won't show anything. So you click on the search. Keyboard does not appear automatically. You go to Steam and X. You press the Steam and X button, and here's a little tip. If, especially if it, after you've been, you know, you've had desktop mode on for a while, especially if you've gone to sleep mode and turned it back on again, if the keyboard isn't working and you're pressing Steam and X, don't worry, uh, nothing wrong with your console. Find that just happens sometimes. Just go out of desktop mode. There's a return to gaming mode button on the desktop. Just double click that, then go back into it. Worst case, reboot your device. Type in Warpinator. Warp. There we go, and I've got a remove button, but there'll be an install button like this. You just click the install button, or you can open it and click the install button as well from here. And you can click launch from here, or just I've saved it to my you know task manager. You can right click it when you open it and pin it to the task manager. Find I use it a lot again. Your PA, not all applications, just scroll down. So close that down, open up Warpinator. Uh, it's just initializing please wait so this assumes that you're on the same network as your windows machine so you need to be on the same computer as the machine that you so that's fine that error is fine uh, as you know that you'll be transferring files to this device okay so now what we're going to do is switch over to our windows machine okay so now that we are on our windows machine what we are going to do is just open up your web browser, search for WinPinator, and just go for here to here. So it's the Warpinator for Windows. Scroll down, go to Downloads, Downloads page, and just download the version that you want, 32-bit or 64-bit. If you need to find out what you know OS you have, 32-bit or 64-bit, open up your you know your computer, this PC, go to System Properties, and in here you'll have 64 bit, so I'm 64 bit. I can do either. 64 bit does support backwards as well, but 32 bit you have to have 32 bit. So you just click download, you open it up, you click yes, click OK, next. I agree. Mine's pretty on the D drive because it's already de detected a current installation. Yours will probably default to the C drive, put it wherever you want to. And the Explorer integration looks fine. If you don't want a desktop shortcut, click install. Doesn't take long. It's a pretty quick installation, to be fair. Obviously, it does download some files, so it can vary, you know, based on your internet speed. I can actually close the web browser down now.
Okay, it took a little longer than anticipated. Let's right click next. I uh, don't want to really see the release notes, but we're going to launch it up. Obviously, if you close it, you can just close, search for Win18 here and open it up now. Okay, like I said, make sure you're on the same machine. And now, obviously, I'll show you the Steam Deck as well. So he's picked it up, you just double click it. So on the Steam Deck, it's appeared as well. So you can use the right trackpad, go to here. Single click it and now we can transfer a file. So the beauty of this is you can send a file or a folder. You are not restricted to just single files or having to zip something up. So imagine if I want to send a game, let's say I think okay, do games, uh, let's go PSP, Tekken 6, for example, click open, and now on our Steam Deck it pops up, the notification pops up. But we can just use the waiting for approval as well. Click yes. So this is copying over. As you can see, it is very fast, but that depends on your current configuration. My Windows machine is wired in, and I've got really fast routers as well, but it is still pretty fast either way. But now, let me show you where to actually access it on your steam deck you go to obviously your explorer you go to home and there'll be a folder called warpinator and all files that you have transferred will appear here so tekken 6 right there and you can right click using l2 copy it, and paste it wherever you want to so that's how you you know send files and folders to your Steam Deck. You can also click Send Files and send file to another machine from the Steam Deck if you want to. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post on the Discord group, link in the description. If you liked the video and it was helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.